Hey everybody, my name is Bezad. My name is Risha. And we are here from Naked and Famous Denim. And today we've got a very exciting tune to tell you all about. It's the brand new King of Slub 2, one of the biggest releases of the year. Part of the Naked and Famous Denim Fall Winter 2023 collection. And we're going to tell you everything you need to know about them. All the specs, all the details, how they came to be, thoughts and opinions, ASMR scratch test stuff, where you can get a pair, probably a few other things. But you, who knows? Who knows? But you know who's going to know? You's gonna, gonna know. know if you stick around all the way to the end of the video, so be sure to do that. But before we get into it, hit the like button somewhere here. Hit the subscribe button, it's somewhere here. And Reese is gonna get us started off with the specs right after this quick little intro. So King of Slub 2 is a 23 ounce super heavyweight Japanese salvage denim. It is a very, very special mm -hmm. denim. It is extremely slubby as the name suggests. And it is a, a and some fries, 100% cotton denim. Yeah, so where do we start? There's a lot of topics to cover here. Mm -hmm. First off, King of Slub 2, this is the sequel. This is actually the third iteration of the King of Slub. We did the King of Slub. We did the Emperor of Slub, which was the Indigo Indigo version of it. Now King of Slub 2 is back to the original Indigo Warp with a natural cotton colored weft to mm -hmm. give the denim a slightly more warm tone. Mm -hmm. So if you if you are a fan of the original, you'll very much like this one. And uh, as the name suggests, King of Slub. This is the slubbiest denim ever created. Mm -hmm. And I don't think we're exaggerating with this no. one. I think we we took for the first one we took years and years mm -hmm. of development and we wanted to kind of perfect the slubbiness and once we did we were very happy with it everybody was happy with it and we just wanted to bring it back right. this time yeah it's been a few years some people have never had a chance to experience mm -hmm. this one so we wanted to bring it back and what makes what why I can confidently say this is the slubbiest denim in the world is because we actually had to develop the yarn from scratch and now that's something that you really don't see very often in the denim production world at all generally you when you're developing fabric it's you're working with available yarns available mm -hmm. dyes that sort of thing but for this one we really wanted to ramp up the slubbiness mm -hmm. and when we went to our supplier they were just telling us no 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 it's impossible no yarns are any bigger than this. This is the slubbiest we can make. And we're like, it's just not slubby enough. So during one of our production meetings, they actually brought in the yarn supplier to, they, they I think they thought they were gonna like have this situation where the yarn supplier was gonna tell us no, to give us like a final no. Mm -hmm. But it ended up that the yarn supplier was like really into this idea and ended up helping us develop this brand new yarn in order to create this super slubby denim. Mm -hmm. And the, the, the development of a super, monster slub yarns was just the first step. Right. It took a long time to get to that point, but when we perfected the the yarn, now we had to weave it. Yes. And and then after that we had to sew it. Right. It was also yeah. very difficult a lot as of challenges. well. It is uh it's like a carpet. Yeah. It's a, it, like a very thick rug. Yeah, <laughs> it's an absolute beast. And if you're a fan of our Elephant series, this mm -hmm. one kicks it up a notch. Mm -hmm. You know, Elephant series usually peaks out at 21. I think we did a 22, 22 ounce yeah, June before. This is 23 ounces. This is really the heaviest that yes. we do. Yeah. You know, we've done a 32 and there is technically a 40 ounce out there. Mm -hmm. Just a sample for now. But this is a monster. It's yeah. super, super thick. And by using the slubby, extremely slubby textured yarns, it makes it even harder to sew yeah. and it makes the fabric even more, you know, rigid. It, yeah. It's just... It's just, as you can see here, <laughs> it, there's no flex to this denim. It's yeah. going to take quite a while for you to break this denim in. Mm -hmm. And uh, let's take a listen here. Yeah. Okay, so this is 23 ounce, 100% cotton, big slub. I'll even call it ultra big slub salvage denim. Jeez, it's like, if I were to put this in a, a form, it would be like a last boss monster. Yeah, that's level. it. It's super textured, it's super dense, you get the basiness, you get the scratchiness. If you're looking for the pinnacle of heavyweight and slubby, this is it. Mm -hmm. um, it's not going to be an easy ride, no. but it's going to create 
unbelievably beautiful fades. Mm -hmm. And if you're into the heavyweight fabric, if you're into exaggerated fading, if you're into the, the fade, many fade contests that are going on right now, this is definitely going to be one to experience. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Another thing I want to mention, this fabric is unsamphorized. Mm -hmm. um, so for those people who might be new to the raw denim world, most of the raw denim, most of the denim of the world is samphorized. And this is a mechanical shrinking process, which basically takes the fabric and it compresses it and it uses some heat and steam to get the shrink out of the fabric before cutting and sewing. Now, this is a, I would say, relatively modern innovation. All the original heritage jeans, they didn't have this samphorization technology. So everything shrunk about 10% uh, when you first got your jeans. And, mm -hmm. you know, there are still jeans today that are made like this. Mm -hmm. And this is like that. So th mm -hmm. this sticks to that old school standard. It didn't go through any finishing processes. And the reason for that is because the samphorization process actually kind of flattens out the denim mm -hmm. a little bit. Um, but we wanted to maintain as much texture in this jean as humanly possible. So we avoided the samphorization mm -hmm. process. So if you take a close look at it, you'll see how extra bumpy it is. You'll see how hairy it is. And uh, you get to enjoy all that. But you do have to worry about that shrinkage. And that's right. why we have the shrinkage charts on the website. You want to pay attention to the pre and post soak measurement guides mm -hmm. when you size for these jeans. Right. And another thing to note is that because it's unsamphorized, that means the leg is going to twist as well. Yes. So the, the leg twist, if you're not familiar, the fabric has a directional uh, twirl, is a directional twirl. So it tends to uh, skew, uh, twist a little bit. And when, in, when it's a jean form, usually it's the leg that twists and the side seam comes uh, towards the, the front. Yes. And that might not be something that you're used to, but this is part of the whole, you know, authentic, you know, old school vintage yeah. experience. Yeah. I think it's a, it's a sign of that. You know, it's an unsamphorized denim. That's the signature, you know, selvage denim, the selvage ID is the signature that it was made on a shuttle loom. The signature of unsamphorized denim is that leg twist. So it's mm -hmm. something that you have to embrace. If you don't like it, too bad. You're going to learn to love it. And I, I'm a big fan of it. I think it adds a nice nuance uh, when you look at a nice faded pair of unsamphorized mm -hmm. jeans. Now, let's take a look at some of the details of these jeans. First up, you're going to notice that thick brown leather patch. We call it Cuba Brown. Nice and thick to match the thickness of the denim itself. We've got the contrast stitching and that absolutely crazy, super slubby texture on this denim. And uh, inside, we've got our antique copper hardware. Uh, all made for us by YKK in the USA. You've got Nick and Famous Denim right here on the buttons and Je Tador Tout New here on the rivets. On the inside, you're gonna notice this super loose woven texture here. You'll see that it is absolutely not even at all. And that's a combination of low tension, slow weaving and the super thick yarns that are used to make mm -hmm. this denim. And then you've got that super fat uh, red line selvage ID here as well. So it's a great cuff flipper. Show that off. You've got the warm toneness from yeah, the inside. It's amazing. It's a beautiful denim. I'm very, very excited for this one. I know a lot of people have been waiting for this one. So I'm glad to finally have it out. Risa, what are some of your thoughts here? I think you have to be a little bit crazy in order for you to get yourself into this and mm -hmm. maybe you know with the the fading contest and stuff like you have to commit yourself to one jean for like a whole year or something yeah and i think it would have to be a little bit crazy but i'm looking forward to some crazy people's fading yeah um of these jeans. you know anytime like the people who really love heavyweight denim they're the, they're the first one to say oh no they, they get they're pretty comfortable yeah. they get pretty comfortable right away and and i tend to believe them you know sometimes there is just something about a dense heavyweight mm -hmm. fabric that makes you feel kind of like cozy and secure mm -hmm. and you're definitely going to get that out of these jeans so uh, i'm very excited for this one they're going to be available in a multitude of fits super guy weird guy easy guy our new straight leg true guy fit as well as a denim jacket so a lot of options for you here mm -hmm. you definitely need to pay attention to those measurement charts in order to get the right size if you have any questions about that you can hit us up in the comment section below or you can reach out to our customer service team we're going to be happy to answer your questions there yeah. Yeah. And, and when in doubt, go for a larger yeah. size because these denim, this fabric is so heavy and so rigid that it's going to be very, very uncomfortable yeah. if it's a little too tight yeah. on you. Yeah, you definitely want to err on a uh, side of caution mm -hmm. with this one. So uh, that's it. See how thick and rigid they are. It's crazy. 
anyways, I'm looking forward to getting these out to you. Uh, if there's anything we missed, I think that's everything, but if there's anything we missed, you can ask us right here in the comment section below. Risa and I will be happy to answer your questions here, or better yet, we'll answer your questions live on our weekly live stream right here on YouTube, 7 p.m. Eastern, every Friday. Come and join the Raw Denim community. We'll be glad to see you there. We'll be glad to answer your questions. And with all that said, that's everything. Yes. All right, so uh, we'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good one. All right, bye, everyone. Bye, everyone.